Why am I here? Well, I live in Quasset and my parents couldn't afford to send me to a private school, so I'm stuck here. Why are you guys here? If I had to guess, you guys are here to do some kind of case study on our teacher, Mr. Pratt. You want to know about Mr. Pratt? What's there to know? Mr. Pratt? Oh, man. Where to begin? Well, he dresses as fashionable as one can for a public school English teacher. He's always wearing some kind of tan or sand sport jacket, and sometimes you'll catch him looking at you with this just dead stare. It's really kind of creepy. It's crazy. Sometimes he'll just like lecture in this really monotone okay. voice for what feels like hours. No PowerPoint, no videos, just like his voice. I honestly think it's because he's so boring that he only ever has like two people per class. Okay, today we're gonna talk about the tragedy of Hamlet. If you didn't know who Hamlet was, it's Prince Denmark. Marcellus. There will be times during his lectures where I swear he thinks he hears a superintendent coming. Because he'll drop whatever he's doing and just race to the door. Which is insane, because he's not doing anything wrong. He likes to catch students in the hallway and have these long, um, personal small talks. Oh, Ned. How are you? Good, good. How about you? How was your weekend? It's good, you know, just uh, yeah. stayed, stayed at home. Yep. That's good to hear. I uh, spent the entire weekend filling out my divorce papers. My wife left me about four months ago. He's like a lion, always looking for his next kill, to kill them with awkwardness. Mad, how are you? Don't be a stranger, buddy. Come on, I want to talk to you. Come on. I really don't mind Mr. Pratt that much. Like, when he doesn't really feel like teaching, he'll put this nature documentary on. It's brutal, but I guess it's better than him talking. Although, come to think of it, I'm pretty sure he cleans his clothes in the boys' bathroom. I'm really glad you guys are doing this. I think I'm a great teacher to do a case study on. I believe I successfully create a relaxed and casual learning environment for the kids. I'll often check in with them on a personal level to see how their day's been and to just see if they need someone to talk to. And when I don't have anything to talk about with them, I'll just check their social media. Ooh. Hey Ryan, how was Jack Saturday night? Looked like a good time. I must confess that sometimes I may lash out on the kids when there's any surprise noises that may distract from the learning. This is what we call a biblical... Oh. I do. I do try to keep order in my classroom. I won't tolerate the nonsense. For example, I put two small mirrors in the back of my classroom. That way, I can see if a student is playing games when he claims to be taking notes. No one should be playing games in class, Ned. However, I do suppose the order will fall into chaos uh, relatively frequently. My students will occasionally scribe hideous and disgraceful words on the whiteboard, hoping that I won't notice. Other times, they'll just flat out draw the male genitalia. It's after days like these that I'll just throw up a nature documentary and reflect on my life. Let me try and put my situation in better perspective for you by telling you a story about a friend of mine who uh, had a friend who was a manager at a small company not far from here. His employees didn't respect him. Even though he tried to connect with them and become more than just a manager in their eyes, maybe more like a friend, 
because at the end of every day, he'd drive home alone in his minivan, which he bought because he wanted to have kids. Honey, I'm... But his wife left him, and he couldn't get over it. Even keeping a photo of her around the house that he could barely look at, it was just torture. Most nights, he was just really sad. But others, he was angry. Not angry at her, but angry at himself. Look at you! You're, you're a failure! So, I guess if there was going to be a moral of the story here, it would be to um, watch out for dangerous routines. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. You know, it's kind of funny talking about Mr. Pratt like this and hearing other people talk about him. Really makes me think. He's kind of a lonely guy. I wonder if I should talk to him. See how he's doing. Nah, he's probably fine.